Hey, good morning everybody. Today I want to talk to you about a game called Trouble. If you haven't noticed, I kind of have a board game theme going on. I have Hungry Hungry Hippos, we have Trouble, and uh, we have um, Battleship. You know, so I have a lot of board game names for these games. But Trouble, if you know, you have to roll the dice, and if you get a six, you bring one of your pegs out, and then your goal is to get your pegs back home into their spots without getting knocked out and things like that. So with trouble, what I like to do is I have a whole bunch of pins and cones and even basketball sometimes set up at center court. And the goal of the game is if your teammate makes a shot with the older kids, they can get a peg out and take it to their home base. So kids will be dribbling up and down the court. Um, if they make a shot on the other end, they get to come back, grab a peg, grab a piece and bring it back home, just like the board game trouble. Now I have to level this with different age groups because my pre-K and kindergartners can't dribble too well yet. So I have them run and touch the end line and grab a cone or grab a peg, then run it back home and put it down. They have to high five their neighbor, things like that. Um, um, with my older kids, we use basketballs and they will have to make a bucket, go grab a basketball and then dribble two balls back to their home spot. And uh, it's a great game that kids really love. They run a lot. They work on coordination a lot. They have to learn to dribble with one hand because they're carrying something in their other hand. And it's just a game that really gets kids used to one, um, doing things without watching the basketball in their hand and two, just being very energetic and uh, exercising a whole lot. So I hope you enjoy this game. Again, there's many, many, many different ways that you can use this. And I hope you have a great day in PE.